Welcome back to the series Laravel Blog View. In the previous video, we've been able to scaffold the project and kick something going. We've seen that our project is running and everything is fine. In this video, what we're going to do is to bring in the files that will eventually be the front end view as well as the back end view. So, what I've done in this video just to save us some time is I've copied some of the files from the template into the project and I did that in the public directory so as you can see in the public directory WP content and WP includes because the template is a WordPress template so I've done everything inside the public folder also what I have done I've added the main layout here because this is what we'll be loading as you can see all these are referenced in the WP content all the styles and the scripts have been referenced so right now one more thing I'll show you is I've done something in the route which will enable this to load by default Laravel comes with this for slash the page is welcome that means on the landing page you get the welcome view but what I've done here is to just comment this out so I don't need this anymore I'm specifying my own route so on slash I want this and on home I also want the same thing and let's see what this home controller on index method is doing here I have home controller and this is the index method what it simply does is to return this view of home and why I did accept index here is that I don't want the user to log in before being able to access this home page so I want the user to be able to access the home page even without logging in okay so let's see what this home page looks like and this is the home page right here it takes the layout of the app and the layout of the app where this is injected is somewhere here is here yield content yeah and this is the content here right everything is done so now let's run this project and see how that is doing okay okay so this is the project as you can see it's running on the server now and this is just what I want to have basically like I said in the previous video we only have our posts and the categories shown here you can extend this however you like now let's also do the same thing for the admin view and the admin view is very simple what we have to start with is the route so I'll add one more route to this one I'll call this route backend it's like your backend for the admin back end and I'll call the method admin I give this admin as well so let's create this is admin and you return admin dot master okay or let me call this admin master all right now what this means is that it's going to return a view inside a folder called admin and a bleed file admin master so what we'll do now is to just create this folder and also create that file so in here i'll create a folder called admin and inside it I'll create a file called admin master dot blade dot php just to save us some time uh, I have the admin template somewhere so I'll just copy it in here yeah and what I'll do now is to copy the files for the admin as well for the admin template I'll copy the files into this project and this is going into the public folder as well okay 
so back to our project you see that inside the public folder now you have the admin and the admin has its own css font images and so on and so forth okay so what i'll do is try to go to this view try to go to that route and see what that gives us and already you can see it's saying i should log in because i did not specify that admin should be exempted from the authentication so let's also add it just to see the back end for now okay so this is what the back end looks like and this will be our links this is the admin view in our next video we're going to start writing codes on and on till we finish this series. See you in the next.